everyone. My name is Oquandia, and I'm the solutions engineer at Electronique. Today, we're going to be talking about Excel and different ways that you can read files, as well as read specific columns of an Excel sheet. We're also going to be talking about how you can inquire conditional statements, like using your if then to pull specific data from a spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so I'm starting with a blank canvas. Now to read a spreadsheet or table, there's two ways that you can go about doing that. You can open up your Microsoft Office tools inside of Microsoft Excel and use the read Excel file, or you can go inside of your spreadsheets activities and tables and use the read table activity. Once you've identified the file, you're going to be able to go ahead and run the workflow and in your variables, you'll be presented with the data that's going to be found from the Excel file. So I'll go ahead and run this now. All right, if we look in our variables tab, we can now find our data. So inside of our imported table data, we're able to see the contacts information that was stored within that spreadsheet from first name, last name, phone number, so on and so forth. You're also able to open up this show source value tab. And what this will do is show you the specific data in an array format. You're also able to use this information if you would like to make any changes or to imply any type of variables. So I'll go ahead and move on to the next part of the example. This will be using a conditional statement to extract data from the Excel sheet. So here, if we look inside of our imported table, let's say we wanted to specifically extract all of the customer's information who has not yet been processed. And if they have not been processed, then we would like to be presented with a set of actions or we would like to be presented any type of notification. So let's start with that indicator. What I'm going to do here is go into my spreadsheets and use my for each row activity. This will give us the ability to iterate through each row of said spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and pick the spreadsheet. This will be the same as we used before our contacts sheet. And now that I've indicated that spreadsheet, you can see a new button has opened up here. If you hit show, it'll show you what your variables are that have been calculated from the spreadsheet itself. You also have the ability to change any of these variable names, which will reflect underneath the variables tab. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep this information here that we have and use these variables that were given to us by the data population. So let's say, I want to use my if then statement. So I'm gonna go into general and logic, pull out that if then and start building our condition. If I hit in basic mode, open visual condition builder, I'll be able to declare my variable since in this case, we're looking for the status and I'll also be able to declare my operator and the component. So since I'm looking for this data to be specifically not processed, I'm going to hit equal and I'm also going to put my next data component as text because I'm looking for the text within this spreadsheet that's going to say not processed. Now that we have our condition, we can save it there and it'll be reflected within the canvas. And again, as we're saying, if it is, we want to have some information presented below to the console log. Inside of the console log, I would like to have that specific client's first name, their company name, and their company tier. The way that I would imply that inside of our parameters is by calculating a value and what I would like to declare to this specific console log message. So I'm gonna go ahead and start typing the first name. going to add space because I want it to be spaced out. And then I would like to know the company name, which I can just go there and click. I'm going to add another space. And last but not least, we want to know the company tier. All right, so now that we have that information presented, 
we are able to set up our no branch here, which is saying that if the status is not equal to not processed, then what would we like to do? I'm going to have here some information to be passed below inside of the console log as well. But I'm going to put that this client has been processed by implying inside of the messages if I hit console. Calculate a value and let's do company name. The space. And we want to know that they have been processed. So let's do status. All right, now we can go ahead and run this workflow and the presented information should accumulate below. All right, open up this blog. And now we're able to see here that ABC Furnishing has been processed. Um, this is Mark's Tool Shop, their gold, which indicates that they have not been processed because it's not giving us an indicator that they were. So it's just going ahead and giving us the name and the tier that they are. So that's how you'll be able to process some information from an Excel spreadsheet or table. So now let's say you wanted to go in and add something specific. So in this case, let's say we wanted to add a new column to our contacts sheet. I'm going to start with a fresh, clear example here. All right. So the first thing that we want to do here is indicate that we want to update some information, or in this case, what it would be called inside of the Microsoft Office capabilities found in Excel, you're wanting to go in to append. So let's append a column here and say we wanted to add a new column. I'll go ahead and pick the path to that specific file. This will be our contacts sheet. And now we're able to either save previous step result or we're able to calculate a value. So I'm going to calculate a value. And what I want to put here for our column name, let's say in this case, we wanted to know company region. Right now that we have indicated our new column name, if I were to run this workflow, it would add that column to our spreadsheet. If we open up our console log, we can see how the bot ran there. And since it says ran successfully, I'm going to go ahead and open up that spreadsheet and see if that column was added for company region. And as we can see here, there is a column for a company region that has been added to this spreadsheet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you.